Welcome to another episode. <laughs> of- <laughs> there goes John. <laughs> My fault. That's on <laughs> My fault. Ready? Bro dipped like Tatum from the Celtics in a few years. Welcome to another episode of the Winners Work Podcast. I am back. And we got a lot to talk about this week. Uh, we'll start off by talking about some drama that's been servicing in the community as usual. We got Ball Don't Stop and Gilbert Arenas, the Pure Hooper Coalition, coming together to try to tear Giannis onto the Kumbo down. And it really sucks to see uh, that he, I mean, he just came off of a championship in 2021. He had a great year this past season. And we still have to hear the terrible narratives about his career. And now we have a whole list of things that Giannis supposedly can't do on the basketball court. And somehow we got back-to-back MVPs because of it. Uh, we'll start with Carter. We'll make our way around with this one. Uh, I don't even know if I, I should pull up the direct stuff that he said. Can I do want to hear what he said so I can... Yeah, what is it that he says he can't do? I haven't thing. even seen it. Pull it up, pull it up. The, the problem is, though, Ball Don't Stop went on a whole social media cleanse. He, he issued a <laughs> multi-paragraph apology about cursing somebody out on Twitter. And I think he deleted a lot of his anti-Giannis tweets. But I do know that he said that he does not view Giannis as the best player in the league. He said that Shaq was never the best player in the league either because there's a difference between being a physically dominant force and being like a skilled hooper or whatever. Ah. You know, his, his usual thing. He says, this is a direct quote from his, uh, from his Twitter. He said, Shaq wasn't the best basketball player in the world either. He was by far the most dominant though. Kobe, T-Mac, Iverson, Garnett, all more dynamic as players. Shaq dominated on brute force and power. Kobe had the skill those Western Conference Finals out. And that's what he's saying. Um, And then more stuff about just, does Giannis have a mid-range game? Does Giannis have a post game? All this, you know, you know what it is. And then Gilbert Arenas, similar type stuff. He literally said that Giannis has not mastered the game of basketball. Like, he doesn't know how to play basketball, basically, is what Gilbert Arenas said. Should have discussed it. If he had Tim Duncan's IQ... That he would be like some completely different player, even though he's accomplished basically everything there is to accomplish in the game of basketball. So, with all that being said, Carter, what do you think of of these comments? Um, I don't think I'd take guys like T Mac and Allen Iverson over Shaq because they might be more skilled. Same goes for like a Kyrie Irving or a Dame over Giannis. Um, I definitely think Giannis is the best player in basketball right now, despite not being as skilled, even though he does have skills along with his physical attributes. And I definitely think there's been points where Shaq was the best player in the NBA. Right. <laughs> uh, Mason, what about you? We all know Ball Don't Stop is just disgusting when it comes to basketball. But th- oh, what's funny horrendous. from me, it's just <laughs> He's so going to want to one of you. Oh, no, I'm terrified. Um, but, like, the thing is, he's going to say Shaq was never the best player in the world and list off those three guys. When Shaq was at, like, the absolute head of his prime, Kobe was, like, 20 21 years old he wasn't he wasn't even in the in the talking for best player in the world like at least name somebody that maybe could have been could have had a chance to be the best player in the world but it's disgusting that you can say all that man Giannis is a nice family guy he's won everything you can win (laughs) go like do something better with your day but this guy is chilling playing euro league basketball like what the what are you doing (laughs) jesus yeah man Uh, john what about you man all right, so I had to, I had to look up uh, Bottlesaw comments. He said some up. So this is where this man is just completely uh, slow. Y'all know his favorite player, is, like he he says Kobe is the goat, like the greatest ever. He always says that. That's his motto. Yep, yep. So for some reason, he he uses that Giannis loss, like Giannis hasn't had peak Shaq dominance, but for some reason he's leaving out who peak Shaq had as his teammate, the right. guy he says the goat. Giannis doesn't have that nigga. Giannis, his best second best player was just injured, and he took the team that went to the finals to seven games. So I don't know what else you want him to do. And then he was like, 
Giannis without the the uh, the title last year has lost in basically the first round every year. Bro, Giannis, the, when was the last time Giannis lost in the first round? 2017? This nigga just be lying to, to slander Giannis. He doesn't say <laughs> without the, the title. Take away yeah, his championship. Bro. Without the conference, I kill me, bro. Take away his <laughs> Take away the <laughs> biggest so accomplishment weird. in the NBA and look at him. So He's weird. Bum. So weird, bro. He was like, yeah, and Buck is kind of saying that Giannis doesn't have a post game mid range. He doesn't, he's not an elite passer. For, he is, he's an elite passer to me, but he said he's not in the he, he sure he sometimes guards the best defender or the best uh offensive player. Um, what does he say? He said he has no post dominance, shit like that, bro. Bro, auto stop. You gotta stop, nigga. For good, please. It's it really- cancer. At some point, too, like even if hypothetically all those things were true, how is he scoring thirty a game? Like I'm just trying. Like, and this is the thing with Gilbert Arenas too. Like, are you trying to act like the NBA is so easy that you could just come in there and just be seven feet and just <laughs> dominate? without even knowing how to play the sport i mean like if that's the case then the nba is down bad but clearly we see that there's seven footers that can basically play point guard you have so much talent in the league right now so it's kind of wild to act like somebody that doesn't know how to play basketball or has no skill is literally the best player in the league and if you don't even think that you won two mvps so clearly Throughout the regular season, somebody thought that he was <laughs> at least in the conversation for being the best player in the league. So, and Shaq, and Gilbert has good. never been. Gilbert has never been. I don't know why he's talking. Gilbert, has he ever been top, never been top close. 20? Has he ever been top 20? Yeah, I, I, he might have been, been top 20. 20. But Gilbert, you've never reached Giannis's level. Why are you speaking <laughs> on him? Gilbert will be mad at me speaking at him. Gilbert, you've never touched Giannis's level. Let's get that across. You've never been a defensive player of the year. You've never been a two-time MVP. You haven't been close to any of these accolades. You haven't been close to a championship. So I don't know how he doesn't understand basketball, but you haven't done anything he's done. Do you understand basketball? <laughs> Seriously. Hey, bro. These NBA players, like, I'm not going to say that. Are we supposed to listen to their opinions? That's what I'm saying. Oh, like, get this nigga out of here, bro. It. It's cool. If we are going to talk about it, you could talk about it, but – it doesn't mean just because you played in the league. Like, clearly, a lot of these dudes, uh, like, their analysis on basketball, despite how great they are. Kendrick Perkins. The logic, the logic doesn't despite make Despite how great Kendrick Perkins is. Like, I don't care how many points you scored, bro. Yeah, we, w- we would have beat the Lakers in 2010 if he was healthy. <laughs> All right. Okay. At some point, the logic's got to add up, though. Like, even if you're not playing in the league, you can see – what logic exists and when it doesn't and there's just no logic in this well the thing another thing is it's like the the ball don't stop the gilbert arenas and the whole no skill Giannis agenda they're like oh he's running dunk and it's like dude i could make you seven foot right now and you could go try a hundred times and you wouldn't be able to go run and dunk against an nba defense like there's so he is so skilled he just isn't tween tween hezzy step back skilled <laughs> like yeah. uh, like relax Bro, niggas throw three defense. Niggas literally build walls to stop Giannis. You know how skilled you have to be to still score through three defenders looking at you, five defenders looking at you every possession. Every every Man, single player on the defense is schemed to slow down Giannis. Like teams are okay if Drew Holiday beats them. They just are doing their best <laughs> to slow down Giannis, and he's still putting up forty two and ten in the playoffs. And, They're and talking Drew can't about him beat like him. He's DeAndre Jordan, like. <laughs> Okay, you got it, bro. Uh, but yeah, I think we we know that that's that's some utter cap, but we had to address it, you know, because we can't let this false news seep into our uh, our feeds. Uh, next up, we got some NBA two K ratings. You know, not that these really matter all that much if we're being honest, but like, some NBA players came out complaining about their ratings. We had Giannis as the top. Rated player in 2K at a 97 overall. Bro, 2K knows more ball than Ball Don't Stop, who supposedly studies it, <laughs> and Gilbert Arenas. Like, that's sad. That is sad. Yeah, but, but we'll get into – so KD – Some people at 2K. Yeah, so KD – Whoever gave him that highest overall in the league. True, true. Yeah. Winner's work, baby. Winner's work, baby. How can I do, man?